big round of applause for him, please. Welcome everybody, it's very hot today, so that was only a half hour. So I'm Arif Guy, I'm from the Unique CCC chapter and development uh, hardware we call this Luftschleuse. We have some old one system and we move our hacker space to a new location and we redeploy uh, and re-engineer this uh, locking system. We have a system that so assess every member or we have some key holders that have uh, access all times to the hackerspace and all those members you can access to the hackerspace when the when a key holder is in. So the everybody knows with keys or oh, many keys we duplicated or we're missing or you have expensive key systems and when you key missing you have exchange them. So so development this open source system um, with uh, allow to control via a uh, standard open VRT uh, router to an, uh, with a lock controller uh, many types of electromechanical locks. I show you how the lock controller works. The principal system works on the, um, on the hacker space and uh, I'll tell you about some issues that you get uh, to deploy the system. So First thing is a keyless entry, so um, we don't need to touch any key with this. You have your smartphone or a laptop, anything must uh, get a, a terminal and an open SSH access. Um, sure, this is an open source system. We, uh, we publish the complete hardware and software, so you can uh, build it, you can modify it, and uh, it's no security or obscurity inside or something. Um, from the system. It's easy key management, you just your key holder, drop your public SSH key on, on the GitHub and uh, you can access to the system. Um, we have some modes of the hacker space, they are like public days, so all doors are open, everybody come in. We have the member mode, so you need to have a simple access to come in, or we have uh, the closed, so, so maybe no batteries in, or some we may have some special modes, it's only key holder, you get in, you take something for 20 minutes and go again. And the nice feature is this will be announced on the IRC channel so everybody can see the, the hackerspace open. This uh, simple system is released a standard open uh, VRT router. Everything now we use on small Karambula board. You can also, every other router that have a simple serial port can do it. So the first was pictures, very, uh, don't see it. It's like here is a so for narrow router cheap thing and some breakout board uh, with with an Atmel controller so just tape it together this was so the first one that you get this will later be burned in an aluminium box but still working uh, some years and the last one it doesn't work very properly anymore so the first thing was this so the picture is very loose this is um, Cold schematic is uh, like a plastic motor, but you can uh, fit that in the inside of the door. This is cheap, it's about 120 euros. You can kind of plug, uh, uh, screw it on, and we just uh, connect uh, the buttons to uh, to our simple controller logic, and you open the door. Just just turns the key off the inside. So you need to know uh, about uh, a cylinder with emergency function to have can put keys from both sides. And that's what and it. So the system was, and the, and the last was very unstable. Um, uh, the mechanic is a pl like plastic and um, not really a really secure uh, uh, environment to get access every time. We have a reset switch outside an uh, uh, electrical box. So the system not works. You open the electrical box and the staircase and reset it, and like something like this. This was very funny. So um, last year on uh, September we moved to our now hacker space and we first used just simple keys and then I told you okay I built a uh, new one hardware for this we every have now we have three doors so it's not like simple we have just one door we have a front entrance we have a back entrance also emergency access in the cellar so I think we have deploy a new system so. Um, I show you what this is. This is very bad, bad readable about the sun. So we have here's about this Carambula board. This have uh, two uh, Ethernet ports, have a uh, wireless LAN, and have two serial ports. The so board cheap is about 20 euro. When you use only the module, we also use this breaker board about 39 euros. And 
Was hier, also das sind so Ethernet, Wireless LAN. Dann wir haben ein Power Supply for 12 Volts. The whole entire system will be running on a simple 12 volt system. We have only a, a battery here, so the batteries will be charged, and we get about 24 hours. I think we can back up the system when the power is lost. So uh, the people will always come in and in the, in the hackerspace rooms. This will connect it to a, to a standard serial port with TTL level, so every router, open VAT device has this inside. And then we have one here called this MUC. This is a master controller. This first thing makes uh, the power supply, also the five volts for, for the current pooler boards. And we have some RS485 uh, bus system. This can about up on kilometers when you like. Uh, it's a very stable system. This will connect it to the lock controllers itself. You always have the controller board. And this will um, control uh, the, the door lock. Um, and all gives the status back. So um, we also have some, uh, we have a magnetic contact on the door. You can check the doors, close it. And also the, the lock itself has some switches inside. You can read out the position uh, back. So see the doors close, the doors open, the door is locked. You can always back and transfer it back to, to via the master controller to, to the open uh, WRT system. And uh, you always get back the status. The first thing what I do is have um, to found the right locking equipment. So we don't like this uh, plastic motors anymore. We says use a stable system as was was will works for years, and also li uh, give uh, a little bit of security. This is not a not a, not a bank something that, but that the locks will must be working properly and always need to check the door with, uh, with close it secure. And all those uh, acceptable pricing. So the first thing is see, okay, when you buy a lock, what you like, this is about 600 to 1,000 euros. So that's my horrible. But I told uh, in a few minutes what we do is to get this uh, acceptable price. Also fits on the door. This is many types of, of, of door locks we have. So it makes us a first analyze uh, what the market gives. I have here some example for it. What we also be used this next one I get some from from um, from Austria today for a few days and analyze them, and it's also a nice option. I have one here. This is only a half of this. It's called uh, FRMCI. This is a motor that can be mounted on a on a modular cylinder system. You also can outside have a backup key from a, from a good locking system like FRMCS or FR3KS, was a very prick-proof system also. And um, on an analyze them, you have the motors just this uh, two pins, and we can directly driven by our lock controllers. And just here is um, one wire uh, EEPROM inside, and some two position switches when you can check when you uh, make a turn and which direction turn. It's just an analog voltage came out. So it's very nice from this company to make a, a hacker-friendly device. We don't need any expensive controllers. Um, okay, you see anything here? There's small, so something like small, small box. What you mount? You can about mount an electrical box with electronic inside. Very expensive, 200 euros for controller. I think it's about 200 euros, but. Um, it's uh, very simple to mount. You just exchange the cylinder lock, mount this, and connect this to the lock controller, and you're done. So when you don't, when you have rent your hacker space, you don't like mounting on something on doors. This will be a very nice solution. The next thing, so um, oh yes, you see, this is this is the EMCI lock. So. You see, you know, this is a small controller. This need any more, and this is a cylinder. So um, it's a very nice thing on this to be deploy these controllers. I don't know why, why lock companies always say, "Yeah, we have a lock, and we need an extra controller for it." So. But in this in this case, it's, uh, it's really nice why we can drive this directly. The next system is this what we pre have. This is this Kimetic system, but it, uh, when you have a door, it's, uh, the lock is working easily, you might can use it. So um, uh, this is cheap. Um, uh, it's very easy to get. You have also the same thing as uh, when you uh, they don't like uh, mount anything on the door and they don't have a two or 300 euro for the, for the deluxe, uh, it will be working. 
First thing that you do, have to do is remove the, the RAV module. Just use keylog. And everybody knows keylog is rightly hacked. Uh, I think the manufacturer's key from ELV or ABUS uh, deploys anywhere on the net. I don't search for it, but if you have this, uh, you have this uh, manufacturer's key, you can just check out a via radio which position your counter is, and you you are in. The nice thing is, in the first one, we, we uh, open the case and put some wires on the buttons. This thing has also a remote connection via cable, but also use the key lock. Also just use the key lock chip from, from the RAF remote control, connect it to the remote bus, and uh, you just see some three wires from the controller. You also can, uh, and you get some LED contact, which gives you a feedback to the controller when you uh, when you uh, get the feedback, the door is locked. So, so all we can use it. Um, if anybody needs a schematic from this interface or something, uh, just contact me and uh, we give it. I will also just deploy on the GitHub repository. So, if you like, you can use this. A simple way is uh, electric stride. Uh, when you but the, the problem is the door will be not locked. This size the door can be open with a piece of wire. But we have solution. You have key holders. You open the hacker space mechanical with a key. And then you can maybe use this type of locking. This is very cheap, easy to mount. And this allows we have a hacker space in a, in a standard house that have a front door. We have other controllers. We have two release on the lock controllers. So you can also uh, contact this type of opening device. Um, what we finally use was just here from Dorma. Let's give some few other manufacturers that uh, mount this, uh, manufacturers this locks. This is a completely mechanical lock. It's very nice. Uh, it's, it's locked itself when you close the door. So even you can out go always outside with the handle. You have always an emergency function. The size uh, he mean everybody can in case of fire or something. Uh, not nice guys on the front door. You can always go out of the back door or the emergency exit. So you can always get out. Just have uh, also um, uh, a hole for the standard uh, cylinder lock for overriding, but mini you don't need it. In our hackerspace, we have some very, very few mechanical key holder. Um, currently, a standard system we will also this uh, will be used with a, a pick proof system. So, even if fail uh, the complete entire system, you maybe have get access. This have five mechanical switches inside, so every position from from the lock mechanic itself is will be monitored. Will um, uh, read out from the locking controller. Um, so very nice solution. This is a number because it's also from uh, Arthur Abloy Monofactum. And I get them the first one for the front door about 100 euro on eBay. And the very nice thing, this for the back door about 15 euros. So there's always a few of these locks are in an in eBay. So may you have to wait some four weeks to get one. This is very nice. This was also original. It's also a very large locking controller with microcontroller inside. The only thing was I made is uh, it has the contacts from the locks, and uh, you have few, few pins you can push and open, close, or something. Um, this was we use on the back door. This is manufactured anymore. This has this locking controller inside. So the manufacturer says, "Oh, we don't we get only 600 euros for this lock. Oh, we make the controller outside. We get it's 1,000 euros for this lock. Why everybody has to buy these controllers? But we need it anymore. Why we put all this stuff in our controller? So the mounting of this lock uh, is uh, sorry about this. Is uh, very easy. You have to run a cable on it. So it's maybe difficult to get inside." But also the solution is when you go outside the cylinder hole, you also get the cable out and run just run it on the door. And the front doors, we get the new door, we also give the company to make the door. He we want this lock and he puts it in with cable running. But he turns the cable on, we have to change it. So that's a stupid company. So um this uh we have these two doors. Uh, the emergency is still not uh, made, but this is uh, in the future. So um very easy. You can get out outside. You just access uh, with your HH key, and the door will open for 10 seconds, and and you're in. So first, and then make my hardware design like this. This was uh, 
the lock controller itself. Um, the main thing was working with every time of locks with we deployed, so it's very universal. The system, um, first thing is a, an h bridge drive on it. You can uh, both DC motors with 12 volt in both direction. What you need, like style, like locks as this. So this is a 12 volt locks, just connect it. And you have also a few uh, analog or digital inputs or output what you run. Um, there's also a DC DC converter on it for the 5 volt for the microcontrollers. Also for the uh, WRT router. There are two relays on it, thus you can switch 230 volts with two change over contacts. And also two AC doorbell inputs with an Oplu coupler. You can put your your bell on it. So if you have a hacker space with an external front door, your people can't ring it. And this will be detected from this from this box. And when you, the club are open, so you can just contact the relay and the door front door will be open. So uh, next is the uh, Chematic. So I think we see every nothing on the screen. So sorry about this. Uh, Make real thin. This is an, an Atmel uh, 644 controllers. We have some uh, some digital analog inputs here. We have an uh, RS485 drivers. We have the Opel couplers. We have the GTEC connection. We have and uh, we have the, um, the simple programming connection. And also um, this one is a new one. You might be. Uh, you like to show this is uh, the new hardware ready is now deployed. Um, we have some beta hardware made, so um, it's a little bit different, but this is uh, completely software compatible. And uh, also, uh, there's a display. We now use a Nokia 1600 display, so it's only cheap on eBay. And you have uh, the switching regulator, it's just standard uh, right shield parts. Um, this is this H H uh, H bridge driver. You can also monitor the power. So if you have drive and uh, you drive like this, you can the first run and you check the, the power consumption. And when you on end, the power will, will uh, the current will be running up. You can monitor it and then shut off. And okay, we have a little bit of time. So um, this. Uh, was on the hardware deploying and uh, maybe see layout. Okay, we see nothing. Maybe just just look on the PCB. But running out, running true here. Um, Alles uh, now fits in this standard box here, so easy to mount. This was the uh, last deploying of it, and all fits on this PCB. Now we use the same thing as master controller and as lock controller. If you have a setup with uh, the doors directly to the WRT router, uh, you don't need an external lock controller. You just can use this one of this. So if you have uh, a longer bus system, you must use one as master controller to uh, exchange uh, the serial protocol to RS45. Also here is uh, uh, two inputs, one for the, for the battery, one for the power supply. Uh, it's coupled with the diode, so uh, uh, if uh, main power is uh, down, so the battery wheel doesn't discharge via power supply. Only two relays on it, so if you have a standard setup, just lose one of them. Um, if you have a cable or you have more doors, you just one of the master and put your doors together. You can also use this to drift many other nice stuff in your hacker space, so you do these for locks only. So, um, okay, here's the hardware itself uh, anymore, it's just running through. Um, the wireless hub is a WRT device, was already told. So, the guy was made the software, it's Schneider from Munich, uh, is not here. And if you have any question, this or not can be answered, we'll forward to them. So, um, you just use this Carambula system. This is only a small device. You have you can either use a Raspberry Pi or something like this. Anything that has a Linux system on it. So it's, you use WRT. You can use other Linux systems. The main thing was to get uh, and make a hardware to drive um, uh, many of logs. So it will be little bit difficult. Uh, so most of logs don't have any pins. You can just uh, give you a TTL pigle on it, and it will work. So you have to do something a little bit more. So 
hardware setup on our, our hackerspace is um, we are mounted in a okay you don't see sorry about this uh, just in a in a key box so what uh, just normally hang out your keys there will be the both controllers here only the beta version um, the carambula with a breakout board or any other wrt router like this and the power supply we have here two blygil uh, batteries uh, uh, inside so it's running up power and on the outside we have some display now it's only laser cut on some piece of wood so we will be mounted in the in the in the box uh, in future only have the, the Nokia display in here, so the system display uh, the currently status. This will be nice uh, rocket launch switch uh, will be uh, ignite the public mode. So uh, let's lamp uh, the, the buttons are blinking. So okay, public mode. Then the locks have a nice feature. You can be driven in the open mode. So you just can always push open the door. So it's uh, easy to open. So everybody come in. This is public mode when you have some talks or public day or lock picking event, and you open just open the doors. Uh, other feature was we have each door have also a separate button button to so just mount here in the box. And so when you go outside, you just push a button. The door only this door switch in the open position. You can uh, when you something smoke like same thing or just go to the shop on the street. You just push on. You can out and on, on, uh, onto the push buttons again. When you push. So when every the last user goes outside, they just push down, and the club will be complet completely closed. And and also we have a main switch will be also um, uh, released from from the relay. So just the relay will open up for a short moment, and the, the main power will be switched off. And very nice. Then have we have the close it function. So when a key holder goes in, you just push close it. Okay, something is in, but um, it will leave in 20 minutes. So the key holder. Uh, 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 so for normal standard members, uh, it's not uh, okay. It comes in the, in the hacker space, so we will close it in a few minutes. Um, then member mode. Every member can assess. Uh, we have currently a, a door code, a mouse code to get inside. And the features we have also on this controller here and second serial port. So the next step is you need to use any RFID tag reader, something like this. This will uh, just connect it to the serial port from this controllers, and you just hold your tag on your in. So easy, uh, and you don't need any any mouse code. So I have a few minutes left. Okay. We just have key holders, we are already told. They will uh, deploy a public SSH key. You can switch all modes with, uh, with a button, can you, can you control where you're locked in. And we have some gas key features, so we have some visitors. Um, we can, uh, uh, a temporary gas key, you can assess the hackerspace. And member mode uh, is just enter the club, we got about mouse code and RFID tags. Um, also Schneider make a complete simulation. You can complete simulate the entire code of the project. Um, this will be found on our wiki site. You will have to like to play with this. You just can uh, can use the code and play the complete entire systems on your on your Linux system. We made also some nice description about here. Sorry about this. It's very bad readable. This is just a, a picture copy from our wiki entries. We also have some GitHub entries, so also we can assess the every time files. The new hardware will uh, upload in, uh, in, the, in the home now. Um, and the sources about, we just go to the wiki of the Munich CCC chapter or just use on github.com uccc. You find this project called Luftschleuse 2. You find every document, software, open source uh, acknowledgement about this. And this is 8devices.com. This is a company that sells this uh, Carambula board. I see today they have a Carambula 2. I think it will work every, uh, it's the same thing. And I have a few PCBs of this. When you like, you have one. Um, I get them for a few days, about 20 euro. I pay for that, so I get them for 20 when you like. Uh, to have run. So we have time for a very short question. We have only five minutes. When you have deeper question, I'm in the Muse CCC village, uh, back from uh, track two. Have any question, or you call me on dark deck two seven six seven. 
We also on the own wiki you have any questions we can uh, discuss as uh, uh, a uh, round. And also have the uh, eagle system here where you have the short lock and then layout or something about question how connect a, a lock controller or a different lock or you have this type of lock or can we do something? We just ask me. Um, also have the hardware on our, on our village, so if everybody needs any answer, just come to me. And we also have tomorrow a talk at, at uh, 5 and, uh, and at track 2. So also maybe for before or after that, a short time for questions. So 